it's time for the Eurovision Song Contest. What are we going to talk about? It? No, well, it's it's uh, one of those events that comes up every year and it gets you rather more excited than I do. Although I do it, accept that it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, musical events of the year. And still, you don't believe it's worth the watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid I don't. I, I'm, I've always been a, a skeptic in this, but I know you're a great fan, and I think it's probably because Italy's got a great entry. Well, you know, it's at the top of, of the mentioning Desmond Norris, the Naked, the naked ape yeah. and a lot of quotation i think he's the top of the uh, youtube uh, uh, list he's got 87 million people watching so it comes at the top well yeah and th that i suppose is a good case and i'm not saying it's all bad and there are some entertaining things some of it i find entertaining because it's so bad that it's good well you will might be surprised also maybe this summer you will be dancing the naked monkey or you know la scimmia nuda balla and there's a kind of a good story because he won the sanremo festival which we covered some yes. time ago uh, and he's got uh, it seemed to be a silly song because everybody in Italy is dancing it but they don't probably go be behind what uh, the meaning is which is basically uh, you know it's like the naked mm -hmm. tempered uh, clothes so. well that, that's one way of seeing it but I don't think I'll be dancing that anymore than I'll be dancing the chicken song all those years ago or all these terrible mm -hmm. songs we have you know the thing is I've got about it's Eurovision it's whatever happens with Brexit and whether you know the UK stays in it's kind of been messed up for years and the Russian Ukraine thing this year is just the latest dispute that we've had yeah but that's why probably that song you know is gonna uh, uh, but we have to mention the name first uh, it is Occidentalism yeah karma which uh, uh, you know is a bit uplifted and maybe the people nowadays that they're talking about on the news what war here war there they need that kind of uh, you know a silly ish song yeah. well you know we could all do with some uplifting in times like these that's for very sure but like you know Eurovision is now struggling with this dispute between Russia and Ukraine we've had all sorts of problems the Ukraine Orthodox Church is saying how dare you use as one of the venues like a religious center as they see it uh, there have been resignations at Eurovision it's not exactly going smoothly in 2017 so do you think they will make it though in, 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 in May oh yeah I mean, I'm sure it'll go ahead and um, well I have to wait and see I mean if the, if the UK wins then that would be an absolute shock especially with all the, the Brexit stuff there are various favourites and things but you know it, it, it is not quite the event that it was I wonder whether you like the Italian one though just because it's Italian no it's not because <laughs> of that I think it's a very it's a beautiful song it's got a lot of quotations it's more intelligent than people might think although I don't know if he's going to sing in English but, yeah. you know, I mean, he's got the endorsements of Desmond Norris, which he said, you know, if yeah. we watch closely and didn't think that uh, one of his uh, book was going to turn into a song, which is really, really, really nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll wait and see. I mean, certainly, I, I think it's almost certainly going to do better than, say, the UK is uh, the, the entrant is the uh, X Factor contestant. Lucy Jones has got a very nice, inoffensive sort of piano ballad but if, if this ends up getting Neil Poin then I would not be at all surprised oh that's why you yeah. know it's all about Neil Poin in the last in, in the last two or three Eurovision song concerts you did not perform very well uh, yeah I but, but it's so. true but you know uh, the other thing is the fact we still got these groups of nations so one nation will back another and that, that's not so good it, that's it, an it, old it, story this is like the story of the Brexit but let's not get into that because <laughs> otherwise we get too political and it's not our intention <laughs> So what well, I'm well, going we'll to just dance the dance instead. You, you'll see. You know, I want to film you. I mean, you have to see what's going on in Italy. You have nuns dancing the naked, yeah. the, the, the Orchidentalis karma. You, yeah. you have yeah. people having fun. People in the court of Italy. Okay, well, maybe we shouldn't say that. But uh, yeah. they should do better or other things better than yeah. just dancing Orchidentalis karma. But let's face the music and dance. I don't really know. I mean, we've had Conchita verse. We've had you know, sort of singing nuns doing things in other talent contests. There, there is room for everyone. It's a very broad. Now put Ochintalis Karma in the same league as Conchita Wurst. I'm sorry, you know the guy is really cute on. He's got a very nice vibes. He won the year before at the Sanremo Young Contest and with Amen, which makes a lot of a lot of more sense. But I think you should, and not because I'm Italian, but simply because I think it will be one of the best songs during the summertime. Okay, well, we're, we're certainly here to uh, big time hitting radio stations all over the place, whether or not you're watching Eurovision. You will be, I'm not so sure me, but uh, anyway, good luck everyone and may the best song win. Okay. okay.